Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelly and I am a physical therapist and I specialize in oncology and lymphedema. In this video, I'm gonna go through how I do scar massage to help reduce pain or any other restrictions from someone's incisions or scars. After your surgery, you likely have an incision, and that incision will heal to a scar. For some, that scar can be painful. It can also cause tightness or restriction in your movement because the skin will be bound down or adhered to the tissue below it. Scar tissue has built up around the area and the area may be thicker, which can also limit your mobility. Scar massage can be very beneficial for tissue healing, so your incision will heal smooth and flat and without any other side effects. Before you start or go further in this video, you wanna make sure that the area that you're addressing is fully healed. Talk to your doctor, or talk to your physical therapist to make sure they can check the skin so you don't have any open areas or you're not at risk for the wound or the incision to open back up. Healing takes time. It can take six to eight weeks for an incision to heal, so just be careful and aware before you start. If you also have thin skin or more vulnerable or sensitive skin, you also wanna be aware or talk with your provider before you start trying some of these. Your skin and your tissue have three different layers on the top, middle, and below. You wanna start with the top layer of skin and try gentle techniques before working towards those deeper ones. And we will go through those options next. Typically when we do scar massage, I'll have someone start for two minutes at a time, working up to five minutes at a time that they'll spend working on their scar. You don't need to spend 30 minutes to an hour to multiple hours a day because if you do that, you are gonna get more inflammation to the area, you may be causing some bruising, and if anything, you're gonna do more damage than good. You can use a little bit of lotion while you're doing your scar massage, that can help. Just try to avoid lotions with a lot of perfumes or extra chemicals in them so you don't cause any irritation to the area. So I'm gonna go through the different techniques of where I start to the more advanced ones that I do for really stubborn or complex scars. I don't have a specific scar that I can show you visually, so I did draw a line on my arm and I will use that as a visual. So like I said before, the first thing you wanna do is start on the top layer of your skin, especially for those of you who are a little more sensitive. So on this area, what I'll use, I'll use my finger or maybe two fingers and I'll just start to do small circles over the incision site or the scar area. Again, making sure that your incision is fully closed before you start doing this. You can get some blood flow to the area, but start to get some skin stretch around the region. After that, I may also try to just go up and down parallel to the incision, working all the way to the edges and even beyond to making sure your skin gets a, a good pull. And you can also work perpendicular to the incision or to the scar. And when I do that, I'm trying to think about almost kind of rolling or digging under the skin a little bit to get a little bit of lift off of the skin. So again, those three are ways that you can just start easy or start gentle on the top layer of the skin. The next ones go a little bit deeper. So what I'm gonna do is you can do a figure eight or a twist of using your thumb and your first, your pointer finger and pinching the skin and doing a little bit of a twist with it. So you're just turning the skin as you go. Again, you're starting to pick up the skin a little bit from the tissues that may be, it may be adhered to below, but really gentle pick up and twist. You're trying to lift that up. For areas that are really stubborn or more complex, you may not be able to get that lift of that skin and that's typical for some and that's okay. What you may find when you're doing that, if you start at the ends of the scar, they may be a little bit easier to lift up or lift up because you have healthy tissue on either side. So you may have to try working on the ends for a couple weeks and gradually working your way towards the middle of the scar if that's, for, if that's an issue for you. So with a twist, the other option I do that I probably use the most is to lift and roll. And so I'll pick up the skin 
So you can see I'll pick up the skin away from what's below and then I just roll with it. So pick up and roll and I work all the way up and down the skin or the scar area for a couple minutes at a time. Now again, if you have trouble lifting up the skin, this is, I realize that I have very healthy skin here, so it's easy to lift up, but if your incision area or your fibrotic area from your radiation is all really bound down, you will likely have to start on the edges of that scar site or that radiated area, because they will be a little bit easier to start with, and gradually you'll be able to work your way inwards. So those are picking up probably the second layer, maybe gradually into the third layer of tissue, but again, you're trying to break up that adhesion of what that skin is bound down to below. That'll help allow your skin to mobilize more and also help you move your body and your joints a little bit easier as well. So for the third way, the more advanced way for someone that we're having a lot of issues picking up the skin, picking up the tissue, moving that tissue around, we need a tool. So we have various cupping style tools that we use or instruments that we use to help lift the skin when our fingers or our hands not enough. These are suction tools. If you want, again, you wanna make sure that you don't have really thin skin, you have very healthy skin and you've been clear to use one of these, but you can get these on Amazon, both think these are Amazon or another place locally um, that are fairly cheap and I'll put a link down below for those. But what you use to suction against the skin, again you wanna probably start on the ends, put, put it fully against your skin so there's no openings so it, does, it can suction well and then suction up and as you can see my skin will be lifted up away without any problem. Typically for those who have really stubborn or really complex scars, maybe they have a skin graft or a radiated area that are five years old and they're just really tight, this is a really nice tool. And you have to work on the outsides and work your way in. But over time I've had the most success getting somewhere for those who have those harder areas to, to manage with something like this. You wanna be gentle when you start. I don't, like a normal Chinese cupping, I don't hold it for a long period of time because you don't want to cause a lot of bruising to the area that you're trying to heal. But gradually just picking up, lifting, and you can even pick up and, and move around a little bit so you're getting a little of activity in the area to also break up some of that scar tissue. So those are the various things I do for scar massage. Again, I usually start with the top layer of the skin doing light techniques that I showed with my fingertips, working towards picking up the skin with my fingers, rolling the tissue, moving it around with my hands, and then working towards a cupping style tool for those who have more severe fibrotic or scar tissue areas. But you wanna start with the top, working your way down so that you're gentle on the skin. Remember, if you're less than three months out of your surgery or your skin doesn't heal well or that you have really thin skin, you wanna make sure you get cleared by your doctor or your physical therapist prior to starting any of these as you don't wanna cause more damage. So two to five minutes is all it really takes working each day and over time, usually in a couple weeks or a month or two, you'll start to notice a lot of improvement in your skin. You're gonna get more blood flow to the area for healing. It will lay more flat and you won't have as much pain with it. You may also see that the skin will start to lighten or mix with your skin color a little bit more, but make sure you try to use sunscreen on the area so that it won't darken as well. Scar massage is meant to help break up that scar tissue with fibrosis, get the blood flow, get the nutrients to the area so that everything can heal well and you don't have as many side effects or symptoms. So if you found this video helpful, please like it below or comment if you have any other topics that you'd like to see covered. Thanks everyone.